ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज Good morning. I am Saira Mujtaba. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to attend the conference of DGPs and IGPs in New Delhi today. External Affairs Minister Dr S Jay Shankar says India a reliable neighbor is ready to go extra mile to help Sri Lanka. India International Science Festival to begin in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh today. Wrestlers call off protest in New Delhi after sports minister Anurag Thakur assures fair probe against Wrestling Federation of India. Indian women's hockey team take 3-0 lead in four match series against host South Africa. And in cricket, second ODI of three match series between India and New Zealand to be played at Raipur this afternoon. and now the news in detail prime minister narendra modi will attend the 3 day annual conference of dgps and igps today the meeting began in new delhi yesterday in a hybrid format home minister amit shah chaired the conference on the opening day the home minister said that indian agencies have succeeded in establishing their strong supremacy under the leadership of prime minister narendra modi he added that india today stands safe sound and on a good footing about 100 invitees including dgps of states and uts and heads of central armed police forces and central police organizations are attending the conference in person the conference is to discuss a wide range of issues including cyber crime technology in policing counter terrorism challenges left wing extremism capacity building and prison reforms External Affairs Minister Dr S Jay Shankar has said that India is a reliable neighbor a trustworthy partner and one who is prepared to go the extra mile when Sri Lanka feels the need he said his visit expresses India's solidarity with Sri Lanka in difficult times in line with the neighborhood first policy of Prime Minister Modi Dr Jay Shankar made the announcement during his just concluded two day visit to Sri Lanka I would like to underline that india is a reliable neighbor a trustworthy partner one who is prepared to go the extra mile when sri lanka feels the need my presence here today is a statement about prime minister modi's commitment to neighborhood first we will stand by sri lanka in this hour of need and are confident that sri lanka will overcome the challenges that it currently faces The Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Ali Sabri thanked Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the generous and timely assistance India extended during the previous year. Relationship between Sri Lanka and India are based on cultural and historical links, shared values and growing economic connection. It is widely accepted that we will be soon or otherwise already is one of the largest and fastest growing economies. Earlier Dr Jay Shankar called on Sri Lankan President Ranil Wickremasinghe and discussed the political and economic situation and stressed on the need to pay special attention to the requirements of Indian origin Tamils Dr Jay Shankar met Sri Lankan Prime Minister Dinesh Gunawardena former president Mahinda Rajpaksha and leader of opposition Sajid Premadasa he also handed over Ashok Leyland buses to transport minister Bandula Gunawardena Dr Jay Shankar interacted with the representatives of the business community in Colombo and discussed the importance of economic growth as a solution to the current challenges more details from our correspondent the assurance comes at a time when sri lanka makes efforts to unlock a 2.9 billion dollar bridge financing from the global bank he also stressed on the bilateral cooperation between the two countries in the spheres of trade energy security connectivity and tourism in his interaction with the sri lankan president dr jay shankar shared india's considered view on full implementation of 13th amendment and early conduct of provincial elections he also spoke on special attention to the requirements of indian origin tamils the minister extended prime minister narendra modi's invitation to mr vikramasinghe to visit india to take the discussion forward on india's partnership in sri lanka's recovery for air news ahmed moin Aruki Colombo Inter International Science Festival will begin in Madhya Pradesh today. The festival organized at Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, Mane, Bhopal, will continue till the 24th of January. Our correspondent reports 
the chief minister shivraj singh chauhan will be the chief guest and union science and technology minister dr jitendra singh will be the special guest at the opening ceremony of the festival a report more than 8000 delegates from different regions of the country will participate in the science festival being held for first time in bhopal eminent scientists researchers students from universities college and schools teachers and industry experts will participate in the festival the theme of this festival is moving toward amrit kal with science technology and innovation this time 15 activities will be organized in the festival the main objective of celebrating science festival is to celebrate scientific and technological achievements and to involve common people in this event sanjeev sharma air news bhopal this is all in radio giving you the news for quick news updates around the clock follow us on twitter at air news alert namaskar main prashant kumar aa raha hu shanivar ko raat 9:30 baje abhyas program mein vishay hai darshan sath aap zarur suniyega fm gold 100.1 par welcome back you're listening to morning news The wrestlers have called off their protest in New Delhi after youth affairs and sports minister Anurag Thakur assured them of a fair probe against the Wrestling Federation of India WFI last night. Mr Thakur announced that an oversight committee will be constituted to probe the allegations of sexual misconduct, financial irregularities and administrative lapses leveled by the prominent sports persons against the WFI. एक ओवरसाइट कमेटी का गठन किया जाएगा जिसके नामों की घोषणा कल कर दी जाएगी चार हफ्तों के अंदर अपनी जांच को पूरा करेंगे जो भी गंभीर आरोप किसी भी तरह के चाहे फाइनेंशियल हो सेक्शुअल हरासमेंट के हो या बाकी हो सबकी गहराई तक जाएंगे जांच भी करेंगे और जो निर्णय बाकी करने की आवश्यकता होगी वो भी करने का काम करेंगे जब तक ये जाँच पूरी नहीं हो जाती तो एक कमेटी तब तक दैनिक कार्यकलाप को देखेगी और तब तक भारतीय कुश्ती संघ के अध्यक्ष श्री ब्रजभूषण जी अपने आप को टेपासाइड करेंगे दैनिक कार्यकलाप से अलग रखेंगे और जांच में सहयोग करेंगे द इंडियन ओलंपिक एसोसिएशन हैज ऑल्सो फॉर्म अ सेवन मेंबर कमेटी टू प्रूव द एलिगेशन ऑफ सेक्शुअल हारसमेंट अगेंस्ट दी डब्ल्यू एफ आई चीफ ब्रजभूषण शरण सिंह मेंबर्स ऑफ द कमेटी आर एम सी मेरी कॉम डोला बैनर्जी अलकनंदा अशोक योगेश्वर दत्त सहदेव यादव एंड टू एडवोकेट्स इन केरला द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज बिगन इम्पाउंडिंग प्रॉपर्टीज बिलोंगिंग टू द लीडर्स एंड कार्डर्स ऑफ द पॉपुलर फ्रंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉलोइंग अ केरला हाईकोर्ट ऑर्डर द कोर्ट ऑर्डर टू रिलीज टू रियलाइज फाइव पॉइंट टू करोड़ रूपीज फ्रॉम पी एफ आई एक्टिविस्ट फॉर वैंडलाइजिंग पब्लिक प्रॉपर्टी ड्यूरिंग द फ्लैश हड़ताल कॉल्ड बाई द आउट लॉड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑन द ट्वेंटी Revenue officers assisted by the police attached properties belonging to the erstwhile PFI functionaries in seven districts of the state including its general secretary A Abdul Sattar and former state secretary C A Rauf The PFI activists unleashed a large scale destruction of public property on the 23rd of September last year in protest against the union government's decision to ban the organization The High Court had recently expressed its displeasure over the state government's delay in complying with its order. The court directed the government to complete the confiscation process and file a report in this regard by Monday. The court has listed the case for hearing on Tuesday. National Investigation Agency yesterday conducted searches at two different locations in District Mukhtiar Sahib and Gurdaspur of Punjab in the Ludhiana court bomb blast case. The NIA seized over 10 lakh rupees in cash, mobile phones, mobile SIM cards and diaries with incriminating content. The case pertains to a bomb blast in District Court Complex Ludhiana that occurred in 2021 in which one person died and six were injured. The center has released endorsement guidelines for celebrities, influencers and virtual influencers on social media platforms. The guidelines aim to ensure that individuals do not mislead their audiences when endorsing products or services. This has led to an increased risk of consumers being misled by advertisements and unfair trade practices by these individuals on social media platforms. Secretary Department of Consumer Affairs Rohit Kumar Singh released the guidelines yesterday in response to the rapidly growing digital world where advertisements are no longer limited to traditional media like print television and radio 
The Employees State Insurance Scheme (ESI) added nearly 19 lakh new employees under its fold in November last year. The provisional payroll data released yesterday reflects that there is a year-on-year -year increase of 5.24 lakhs in ESI scheme's net membership in November 2022, as compared to the corresponding month in 2021. Of the total employees added during the month, 8.78 lakh employees belong to the age group of 18 to 25 years. A gender-wise analysis of payroll data indicates that. Enrollment of net female members has been 3.51 lakhs in November 2022, while a total of 63 transgender employees have been registered under the ESI scheme. Further, as per the data, around 22,000 new establishments have been registered in the month of November 2022. In Jammu and Kashmir, five persons were killed and 15 injured in a road accident in Katwa district of Jammu Division. The accident took place last evening when a vehicle skidded off the road and rolled into a 150-meter deep gorge at Dhanu Parol in Bilawar. In Pakistan, at least 15 people were injured after a bomb blast derailed a passenger train in the southwestern province of Baluchistan yesterday. According to officials, the bomb exploded as the Jafar Express passenger train was passing through the Bolan district. The train was traveling to Peshawar, the capital of the northwestern province, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. No one immediately claimed the responsibility for the attack. Chris Hipkins is set to become New Zealand's new prime minister as he was the sole contender for the post to replace Jacinda Ardern. 44-year-old Chris Hipkins now needs to be formally endorsed by the Labour Party in the House of Representatives tomorrow before he can become leader. Jacinda Ardern's surprise resignation sparked a Labour Party leadership contest. On to sports now. Indian women's hockey team has defeated South Africa 4-0 in their third match of the four-match Test series in Cape Town yesterday. Vandana Kataria, Deep, Deep Grace Ekka, Rani Rampal, and Sangeeta Kumari scored for India to give the visitors an unstoppable 3-0 lead in the Test series. In the FIH Hockey Men's World Cup. Australia, Belgium, the Netherlands and England have entered the quarterfinals as group stage matches concluded yesterday. In the last of the group stage matches at Raulkela yesterday, Australia swept aside South Africa 9-2, while France and Argentina settled for a draw, scoring 5 goals each. Belgium defeated Japan 7-1 and Germany won the match against South Korea 7-2. In cricket, the second of the three-match ODI series between India and New Zealand will be played at Shahid Veer Narayan Singh International Cricket Stadium in Raipur this afternoon. The match will start at 1:30 p.m. In the first match, India defeated visitors by 12 runs in a thrilling match at Hyderabad on Wednesday. And now for a look at today's newspapers, it's over to Prashant Kumar Sinha. Thank you, Sara. The Hindu Business Line headlines union budget can help catapult India into double digit growth the pioneer informs budget likely in new parliament house wrestlers knock on ioa door as wfi chief digs in headlines the hindustan times while the tribune reports ioa forms seven member pro panel wfi chief calls it congress conspiracy The pioneer says the Rozgar Mela exercises have become identity of government says prime minister DGCA acts and urination fiasco business standard rights air india find 30 lakh rupees pilot grounded for 3 months and finally a sad day for music lovers david crosby rock legend master of harmony dead writes the hindustan times and with that it's back to you sara thanks prashant for the press review and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again Prime Minister Modi to attend conference of DGPs and IGPs in New Delhi today. External Affairs Minister Dr. Jay Shankar says India a reliable neighbor is ready to go extra mile to help Sri Lanka. India International Science Festival to begin in Bhopal MP today. Wrestlers call off protest in New Delhi after Sports Minister Anurag Thakur assures fair probe against WFI. Indian women's hockey team take 3-0 lead in four match series against host South Africa. And in cricket, second ODI of three match series between India and New Zealand to be played at Raipur this afternoon. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a great day.